Hey everyone, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fate Stay Night. Alright, so we're on, what, day 8 now? So a bunch of shit happened yesterday. Uh, Bound of Fuel got activated. Rider's dead. <laughs> Killed by Caster. Uh, luckily no one got hurt at school, so everything's kind of going back to normal there. So Shinji's dropped out of the race because his servant was killed right in front of him. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how things advance from there. We're already down a servant. So there's just six left. That and also both uh, Shiro and Rin are only down to one command spell each. So we'll see what happens there. Interval level one. I'm dreaming. Like blood flowing through a thin circuit, I see a memory that I can't reach. For what did he fight and keep running? He never told anyone his innermost feelings. Everyone around him saw him as an eccentric. And on top of it all, he wore a mask of stoicism and few words, so others must have believed him ruthless. His objectives were unknown. Or at the very least, nobody was informed or found out. Even after becoming a hero, burdened with so many things, he never once let his intentions slip. And so nobody was able to grasp his character even at the end. Nobody understood. Though he was a convenient hero that saved lives, his motives and ends were left in the dark. Thus it inevitably came to be that all would feel uneasy by his presence. So he should have claimed at least one such reason. Greed, fame, selfishness, revenge, devotion. A clear reason that would have been so universally understood. Had he but one such thing, this would not this end would not have come. His reward for success was always betrayal. The things he picked up sifted through his fingers like sand. He got used to it. Like a fool he got used to it. From the beginning, his reward. It was not what he received from those he saved, but the act of saving them itself. The repetition of it makes me so mad I want to punch him, but it also makes me want to cry. The reason he was called a hero, his intentions were never revealed to anyone. Those around him never came to know, and even he, the only one who could know, eventually forgot. This all inherently makes me just want to cry. On the long, long path from the start to the finish, he miraculously never once strayed from his original purpose, despite no longer knowing what was and what was no, uh, what was and was no longer right. And the end comes. A savior is nothing but a nuisance to those who are not saved. He understands his own powers and the extent of the world. He accepts that there are those he can and cannot save. And so he wanted those within sight to be happy at least. Many others despised him, decrying his hypocrisy and narrow values. He had more enemies than allies, and he died abruptly at their hands. So what is seen here is not a location in this world. This place is his end. It is nothing other than the illusion he saw on the verge of death and the only pride he had within himself. The hero that used this view as his weapon was consumed by his own darkness in his final moment. He arrives at the Hill of Swords. The end of his battle came on a mound with rusted, ownerless blades. Alone after all. Even then, there was nothing to regret if he was able to save everyone with a view. Ooh, how the fuck do I keep yawning? Jeez. He smiles with satisfaction and lets go of the sword. That's why he never had any regrets. His objective had long been fulfilled. From the start, he kept on running with utmost effort, not for himself, but for those who had nothing to do with him. <clears throat> I rub my heavy eyelids and get up. It's 5.30 a.m. I don't feel sleepy, so I guess I was able to sleep well despite everything. <sighs> I grumble while getting out of bed and change into my uniform. I can hear faint breathing if I listen carefully. 
Saber's presence is apparent, even from the other side of the door. That's good. Good. I shake the intrusive thought out of my head and tiptoe out of my room. The breakfast table. My expectation that it would be a quiet breakfast, considering what happened yesterday. Oh. It is overturned by Fujine, who is even more hyper today. If this were a horse race, the situation is both dark is both the dark horse and also somehow the most likely winner. Ah, お見なすぐに気がついたのか。そうね。個人差はあるけど、昨日中には回復したはずよ。Fujine looks down as though it's difficult for her to talk about. I feel bad. All last night, Fujine went to one hospital after another. The classroom's on the first floor. She just saw what kind of condition the 3A and 3B students were in. Sorry,この話はもうやめる. <laughs> I see. Then it'll be mainly first and second years coming to school today. No, Fujine. うちの学校でさ、流動寺の関係者って誰かな。伊勢君じゃないの？彼お寺の跡取りでしょ？だよな。はい、何でもないから忘れてくれ。I set down my bowl as I look up at the ceiling to think. The only person in our school has, that has to do with the temple is Issei. But it's too rash to assume so easily that he's a master. And most importantly, I don't think he could be. じゃあ行ってくれ。留守番よろしくな、セイバー。シロも気をつけてね。あの校舎から結界がなくなったとしても、キャスターのマスターがいる以上は油断できません。レイジはあと Fujine seems to have some things to take care of regarding the incident yesterday, so she finished her breakfast quickly and went to the hospital immediately. Everything at school doesn't look any different, even after what happened. It's 7.30am and the school gate is crowded with students. The students are talking about what happened yesterday and seem to be creating a fuss over it. And... In the middle of it all, in front of the school gate... There stands Tosaka waiting with her arms crossed. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling, but I can't sneak past her when she's standing in the middle of the school gate. I stop and greet her on the way to the school building. <laughs> Whoa. The first thing that came out of her mouth is straight to the point. <laughs> I try to defend Issei. 
ここ数週間竜道寺の山門はずっと閉じられているのよ部外者は入れないし寺から外に出てきたのは一世ぐらいのもんなんだからこれで怪しくなかったら真犯人は誰でもいいってレベルでしょあのさ外に出ないって言うけど普通お坊さんは頻繁に寺から出てこないもんじゃないのかバカあんたいつの時代の人間よ檀家周りあってのそうもんでしょ山寺に引きこもっておさい銭だけで食っていけるんだったら明日にでも出家するわよええ Tosak is surprisingly serious. If Ise were here, I'm sure he'd be yelling at her for being an offering thief. I'm interested in what's going on at the temple, but that's not the problem. Right now, let's be mindful of our surroundings. We're at the school gate. We're surrounded by students on their way to school, and they're frozen hearing the school idol ranting like a madwoman. Nani yo so no me? Nani? Emiya kun wa Ise o kaba ってわけ Hm, ii wa yo atashi wa. あなたが現実的な推測を無視するっていうのは、こっちだって勝手にやるんだから。What are you going to do, Rin? What are you going to do to Issei? Yet the school's idol is the only、uh, is the only one that does not realize this situation. おさか、ちょっとこっちかい。何よ、逃げる気？もう逃げない。いいからこっち。I pull Tosaka's hand and start walking. ちょっとエミヤ君。She can complain later. Let me just get. Get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> the morning practice must be cancelled due to yesterday's incident because the archery range is empty. I'm glad. We won't attract any attention here. So the remaining problem is. Tosaka, who's staring me down. I'm stunned by the immediate comeback. But I have to deal with her calmly. Issei's life is on the line. <laughs> it really is. Knowing Tosaka, I bet she would do something crazy to test Issei. Anata koso go makasa nai de. Caster no honkyo chi wa ryu doji de. Issei wa ryu doji kara gakko ni kite iru no yo. Dat te yu no ni. Dou shite sore o mushi suru no yo, anata wa. Tosaka yells at me. It may be true, but I don't think Issei is the master for a different reason. But if I gave some half assed reason, I would most likely die before Issei. At the same time, I can't leave Tosaka like this, so I have to convince her somehow. キャスターが根城にしているってこともあるんだけどそれにしたって揺らぎが大きすぎるっていうか集まりやすすぎるっていうかうん集まりやすすぎるそれって町から吸い上げてるっていう魔力のことあうんそれは関係ないことだから気にしないで Different Nah you're way more suspicious than Issei right now Tosaka ともかくそんなところから涼しい顔でやってきてる時点であいつは怪しいのええ前からあいつには一発蹴り入れてやんなきゃなんないって思ってたし今回の件はちょうどいいわトサクシリアス I had always heard they didn't get along but I didn't know it was this bad actually What the heck did he say do to earn this from her anyway? I mean, to be fair, the way he talks to her that we saw. Now I'm a bit curious about what can make Tosaka dramatically violent.、Uh, no, now it's not the time for that. So, the man. He said, no, Tachibanga, Utanao, she, Tenonia, or Emoto Kanda. Tose, yo. Correjo, Kabata, Ristara, Sorekoso, Dozai, Nantakara. Nah. Dakara, he said, no, Kotoa, or any Makasa, take her. Whoa. The look she gives me says she doesn't trust me at all. Isen 
The silent onslaught continues. I imagine Tosak is worried that I might just do that. I might do just that and go easy on him. Which is fair enough, so I'll just have to take this scrutiny. I can only get her to trust me. I sigh with relief. Tosaka asks me the fundamental defect in this proposal. おい、いっせ。お前マスターかなんて問いただすわけじゃないでしょうね。いくら協力関係でもね。そんな she starts walking, making a gesture that obviously tells me she's not convinced. Tosaka says and heads back to the school building. Once I see her off, I belatedly realized that she was just worried about me. Aww. It's lunchtime, so I go to the student council room. I say and open the door. Not exactly. Issei is eating lunch by himself inside. Good. This is convenient. I sit at the table and try to add casual. それが説明されずじまいだ。一回の空き教室に置かれていた薬品がどうしたとか、そんな当たり障りのない話だよ。昨日の午後から朝まで散々校舎を調べ回って出た結論がそれだとさ。He seems unhappy. <coughs> he seems unhappy as he bites into a stiff carrot. This time he sips on tea happily. Well, this is awkward. Doesn't seem like the right time to interrogate him, so I'll wait for a while and see. Damn, there's only five minutes left before the break is up. I hurriedly wrap my lunch back up and face Isai. I get up from my chair. There's no time. I just have to dive right in. <laughs> Alright, Shiro. I demand as firmly as possible. Shiro! I grab it, Issei. In the end, there was no command spell on Issei's body. I searched thoroughly, but I didn't see anything that looked like a command spell. I nod to myself. <laughs> Were you expecting him to do something? 
悪かったアイス事情は話せないんだがどうしても調べたいことがあったんだそれも済んだからもう何も問題ない I bow my head and apologize <笑>うん、うん、悪いことをしたと思うのなら謝罪の一つもするというもの He said goes silent with a serious expression. But now it's back to square one. If Issei, who has ties to the Ryoto Temple, is innocent, then there's no one else that could be applicable as Castor's master. Nah, Issei. Saikin, Tera no Hode, Kawata Koto, and I got. Hm? Kawata Koto, Toy Pokaranai. Tada, Imamade to a Chinga Koto Toka, and I got. So, Tara. Saikin no Hanashinara. 見慣れない女が一人いるぐらいかだがそれだけだ親父も兄貴たちも静かなもんだぞ He says says calmly A new woman Could that be Castor? Well I'm sure that servant would pretend to be a human without a problem Or could that woman be Castor's master? Should I try and ask Isai? Maybe Eh, it'll be pointless. Nah, it'll be too dangerous to keep on talking about this. Issei lives at Ryoto Temple, after all. If I make him suspicious about this woman, then he might get curious and do something. And, if that woman is a master, Issei would be in danger. This is it for today. I'll call it good since I found out that Issei has nothing to do with the Holy Grail War. Oh, so you're Emiya. Shinji no Imoto, you didn't have any Oh, she wasn't. Sakura, Kyo Gako Yasunder Noka Shinji Moyasunde Itadaro Futaritomo Mudanke Seki Uchi de Nanika Tano de Anaka to show queens the Monday not Tedu. Not a loss for words being confronted with a problem that I'd forgotten about. Oh, Hiriasmi Moridara Kyosuni Modro Issei ushers me out of the student council room. All the while. The thoughts of Sakura being absent and what happened to Shinji after losing Ryder swirl in my head. Oh, interlude. The sound is like hitting steel. He arrived there still breathing heavily. His footsteps are loud and their rhythm is erratic. Staggering forward, he leaves the door flung wide open. He can hardly stay on his feet, pulled forward only by his falling body. He looks around. The church is empty after morning service. Light is only provided by the sun streaking through the windows above. <clears throat> the silence creates a solemn air and the still atmosphere creates a profound stillness. His very presence is heresy. So this is Shinji. No, that would be wrong. He did not merely come to this place. With ragged breath and unfocused eyes, with shaking limbs that wither and sway, he desperately fled for shelter. That is the true answer. His wretchedness is that of prey fleeing from a predatory hound. <laughs> he forces his body upright. Just when did this man appear? With bloodshot eyes, he peers at a priest standing at the altar and mutters incoherently. The priest frowns. He could not fully understand the boy, but assumes he is here to ask for help. He wants protection. The master who lost his servant may ask for protection under the condition that he withdraws from the war. That place of refuge, the, lang the last sanctuary, is this church. And the master of this place, Kirei Kotomine, is the priest. <laughs> The boy responds to that solemn voice with a sparking flame. The priest does not answer and only looks at the intruder. 
He looks beyond the boy, as if to peer beneath the skin, bone, and sinew to that which lies beneath. ここに根付いた父に代わり、丁重にもてなそう。え、なんだよ。リタイアしたのは僕だけだっていうのか。くそ、見とらい。こんなこと小さに知られたら、なんて言われるか。ああ、それもこれもお前たちのせいだぞ
can't even explain why I'm reacting like this in the first place. I saw her in her personal clothes. I saw her in something other than her school uniform without expecting it. That's all, right? Why am I hung up on this? It's just her clothes. This isn't a big deal. First of all, we're allies. She trusts me to have her back. So I ought to be prioritizing living up to that trust. I call out to her. Tosaka sees me, gets surprised, and starts looking around. I get closer and call out to her. I have no time to resist. Tosaka grabs my arm and pushes me to take cover. Oh. Wait. It's really soft. Error. Processing error. My brain is blown away. The heartbeat that I had forced to silence earlier sounds like a drum solo now. Tosaka pushes her body onto mine. She's so close to me that I'm getting dizzy. I feel like I'm babbling nonsense, but I can't understand it myself. Oh, is it Gil? My boiling thoughts cool instantly. A strange guy standing in front of Sakura's house. Yup. Unfortunately, I can't see the look in his eyes from here. We bend down and try to hide ourselves in the confined space. The footsteps approach. He goes down the hill without stopping. What was that about? I think he's a normal human being. He seems like a real full-fledged human with a form. Yet I still feel something weird. I don't know who he is. But I have this strange feeling our lives will come to an end if we go after him. It's such a strange, unnerving presence. Tosaka murmurs. What do you mean? What am I doing here? Woman! Tosaka jumps out from the back alley as fast as Lancer. <laughs> so focused on him that she didn't even notice? I explained precisely to her. <laughs> Rin. She must have understood as she freezes. Well, she stopped without, with the unreasonable complaints, but now she's just glaring at me. Hey, I'm the one that's annoyed here. You're the one who dragged me in like that. It's not fair that only Tosaki gets to make a, make a face like that. She shouldn't have done it if she didn't want to. I feel stupid getting all embarrassed about it, damn it. Tosaka, I say while turning away from her. Tosaka replies nonchalantly. <laughs> A sigh escapes my lips. I feel even more stupid for getting all worked up about it when she says it like that. 
Above all, I, I feel better from just hearing those words. Look, don't, don't worry about the method. Just, just know that he's cleared of suspicion. Tosaka nods in agreement. But she must have thought of something else as her head tilts. Don't worry about it. Tosaka freezes, staring at me in stunned silence. Yeah, that's about right. Now I think she's acting strange. Oh, is she? Like, what part of that was unclear? <laughs> I think she's taken aback by the method, dude. The Mato household was silent. Shinji isn't home, and I don't see Sakura either. Just as I'm wondering what I should do. Tosaka asks, as if it's nothing. Tosaka, Oh, okay. うん。じゃあ、桜は今頃は病室で眠ってるけど。なるほど。そういうことだったわけ。うん、いつ<笑> Tosaka smiles meaningfully. It's really humiliating, but more than that. Tosaka. Yeah, how do you know that? She says as she starts going up the hill. Tosaka says goodbye and casually leaves. Then... She looks at me seriously from a distance. Tosaka? ねえ、ちょっと聞きたいことがあるんだけど。うん、いいけど、なんだよ。その例えばの話よ。もしさ、本人の意思と関係なく、よその家に様子にやられたら、その子はどういう気持ちで育つのかな。Weird question to spring out of the blue. What is she getting at? A child that's adopted without any say. Throwing away their previous life and starting a new life with a complete stranger. They say that you can't choose your parents, but... If I think about what a child who doesn't have any choice in the matter would feel being thrust into a situation with a stranger... I shake off those thoughts. What am I getting emotional over? I shouldn't even need to think about this. Yeah. どういう気持ちもないだろう。もらわれた先の家がいいところなら文句ないだろうし、悪いところなら文句があるんじゃないか。子供なんてそんなもんだろう。そっか。そうよね。何当たり前のこと聞いてるんだろう、私。Tosa
I came home, trained with Saber in the dojo, Fujine came home, I made dinner, the three of us ate, and now it's already past 8 p.m. Saber-chan, maybe you're the famous Tatsujin? Saber-chan told me that this is a different guy, but... Well, I'm sorry, 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 you still, hung, you still hung up on this saber? We're having our post-meal tea. It's good that Fujine and Saber are getting along. I don't want to interrupt, so I step on my tea quietly and rest my body. Saber's training really did a number on me. Don't say it like that.結果がいいので、黙認することにしました。確かに、シロは自分に合った戦法を身につけた方がいい。体は塔に出来上がっているのですから、あとは自身をうまく動かす思考を組み込むだけです。は、セーバーちゃんは勝ってるじゃない。そ
悪いことはダメだって町のいじめっ子をバンバン叩いてたっけうんその時からシロは正義の味方だったんだ Fujine happily talks about boring things and besides Fujine なぜシロは正義の味方なのですか Saber asks a simple question いやなぜって聞かれても困る単に憧れてるからじゃないか憧れているその正義の味方にうんまあそうだけど Makes me embarrassed when she says stuff like justice straight to my face. So, what do you think? Do you think? So, what? It occurs to me just then. There's really no reason for it. I've admired people like that since I was a kid. I tried to be of help to people and support anyone that was sad to the best of my ability. That hasn't changed even now. But the reason behind it. Why did I try to be of help to people? You can leave your dream to me. That's the answer. The last moment of the person that meant everything to me. He died peacefully because of something I said. I wanted to protect that trust he had in me. Even after he died. So that he would be able to rest in peace for an eternity. But is that. Is it really the real reason? Shiro. I hear my name and come to my senses. I stood up, overwhelmed with unexplainable anxiety. I leave the living room as if fleeing that feeling. No ifs about it. I ran. That was a simple question. But I was scared that something might come to light when Saber looked at me with those eyes. An uneasiness that even I don't understand myself. A shapeless fear, nausea welling up. I hurried to my room trying to suppress a headache. Fujine went home, saying she had work left to do tonight. Saber's sleeping in the room next to mine, just like yesterday. I stare into the darkness, unable to sleep again. It's not that I can't sleep because I'm, uncon because I'm conscious of Saber. Why would he act like that? Those words. It's because that question still remains in my heart. She asked me why, and I said I found them admirable. It's obvious why I ran away, then. Because... If she asked me why I admired them, I would have nothing to say in response. No, I do have an answer. But something is keeping me from saying it aloud. Why ask that now? I was desperate to be like Kiritsugu when I was a kid. I admired people like him because there was an ideal that I could not fulfill. should be the source of it all. The true form of the ideal that I have now. No, the ideal that I've had for the past ten years. If I could save someone... I glared up at the sky, thinking that it would be a lie unless I could save everything. But which one is the lie? The ideal of justice... Uh, the ideal of justice that I admired. The older I get, the more I stray from it. The ignorant child that knew new ba no bounds grew up, gained knowledge, and learned of a limit. That some truly, some truly cannot be saved. Miracles are beyond human ability. Even then, I believed that I could become like Kiritsugu when I grew up. Yet all I gained was the wisdom to decide that ideals are just that. All I can do is clean up afterwards. Even though I was made acutely aware that it's meaningless, I've continued doing what I can. Even if that means just saving one person. Though my goal was to save as many lives as I could, I've lost and discarded things along the way. Also, I wouldn't lose the most important part. The reality continuously knocks me down. If my heart does not accept defeat, I can't stand strong even if it's a bluff. That ideal, the ideal where nobody is hurt, is wonderful. You can leave your dream to me. Yet 
as if no one's going to. I just thought that I would inherit this dream myself. That's why I have to become a hero of justice. I have to succeed Kiritsugu and protect what he longed for. How good would it be if everyone could just carry on as before without making any sacrifices? I desperately reject the words that popped up in the back of my head. He said to drown in my ideals. Ominous words, as if he could prognosticate my very fate. Alright. So we'll end things off here. And uh, tomorrow, I guess we're just gonna meet back up with Tosaka and come up with a new plan to find the Master. So, I'll see you all then. Bye!